in every park they are building dormitories or hostels to accommodate people that cannot afford hotels. But I'm calling upon Ugandans. Stop taking what people are telling you. Recently we bought six buses. They are at Uganda Wildlife Authority. They are seated for free. These are to pro promote local tourism. You go and you ask for a bus, you fuel it. It sitting capacity is 54. Take in your school, take in your people. Go and visit the park and that bus has free entrance to every park. Free entrance. It's us Ugandans that are not utilizing the things that we already have. About publicity, I think it's very unfortunate we have we have publicized. You know, in Uganda, they say if you want to hide something from a, a Ugandan, you put it in writing. We have written, we have papers publishing about our national parks, about our rich cultures, Bendere Cultural Center is open every day, free, different and diverse traditional dances, traditional cultures um, at the Ndere Center every single day. Entrance is 5,000. Ugandans don't even know which cultures they belong anymore. They know they speak English and that is it. It's very open. So we have put these things, we have uh, printed brochures, we have printed uh, flyers, they are everywhere. We have taken our media every single month. We have a budget that takes the media to these national parks. And we also have packages for schools and tertiary institutions. And we have informed the heads of institutions. So if the head of the institution, for example, like Macquarie University, if they do not come to claim that package, we do not look for them. It's an offer. It's like someone telling you, come and eat. If you do not come, I do not have to carry a plate to your table. So those that come to claim the packages, uh, the students of MOOBs, for example, last month, they were in action force. The instructors came and said, we need a package for us. We gave them tour buses at Uganda Wildlife Authority. They went and toured. They came and told their stories. Well, we have even promoted local tourism. There is this campaign that we have started, the Tulamble. If you have heard about it, mm -hmm. Tulamble. But it is very surprising that we started in 2016 and started from Bara. We made a drive here in Kampala, we mobilized in Barra by the people that moved from here to Lamble, our very own, and it, because it was a campaign promoting local tourism. To Lamble, let us know, let us tell our own story, let us know our own world. This is total and pure Uganda. There's no foreigner. So I call on Ugandans, pick their interest, come. So go tell your fellow students, go tell the world, let them come, we shall welcome them, our offices are open. We welcome them, we give them packages, we give them alternatives. If you cannot man manage a package of 10,000, there's one of 5,000. Or we go to Lamble, by the way, in June. Uh, from 20... It's going to be a Sunday. From 24th, here, to 30th, to Lamble. We are going to Lamble East. We are going to Mount Elbon. We are going to Toro. We are going to move to the Sebeji land. Yeah. I call on everyone, come from 24th to 30th. Come on, come in these days and book. Make, make, make yourself a booking. Here. Well, it takes you to, 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 to have to, to prepare because we are not going to dress you up. Maybe you get a, a little pocket money. We have transport. And when you reach in the way, you can buy yourself a glass of water or a bottle of water. Or you find a chicken at Kafu or Kasavan, you buy a piece. Yeah. It just that, it takes that.